subtractions make when we have subtraction? Because subtraction is really the same idea as addition. If you have f minus g of x, guys, you're just looking for f of x minus g of x. So most students, when they're working out this problem, will write it out like this. x squared minus 3x plus 1 minus x squared plus x minus 5. And then they go ahead and figure out the answer, and they get, uh, you know what, negative 2x you know, minus 4. And they say, sweet, I got the answer. right? But then they made a mistake because you're not subtracting x squared. You're subtracting g of x. g of x contains everything inside those parentheses. So what we have to do is insert this grouping symbol to make sure we remember to distribute, right? And yeah, basically what you're doing by distributing, you're changing the signs here. So you have x squared minus 3x plus 1 minus x squared, so plus a, minus, plus a negative, minus x plus 5. Now we can combine our like terms. So these still subtract, these still subtract 0, but now we're left with negative 3x minus x, so it's a negative 4x. And then do my subtract, oh, I like wrote my plus 1. And then one, um, 1 plus 5 is plus 6. Now again, if we want to identify the domain, let's look at our original domain. Quadratic. Domains of a quadratic is? All the numbers. Domain of another quadratic is? All the numbers. We subtract them, and we get a line, which is again going to be? All real numbers. But doesn't it make sense, guys, if you have a function that's all real numbers and another function that's all real numbers? It doesn't matter if you add, subtract, you know, whatever. Like, you're still going to have all real numbers. We're not like introducing some new constraint, correct? Well, at least with addition and subtraction. Yes? yes? Well, guess what? That's the same thing for multiplication. Multiplication, 